Mr. Buzidi, hello. Thank you for taking the time to speak to us today. So we're here in Astana for the 2016 Women's World Championships. Obviously, this is an important platform for women's boxing promotion. Can you tell us what you think of the organization and, 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 and the importance of these championships? The organization is just beyond our expectation. Uh, it has been a long time that we are working closely with uh, the Kazakhstan Boxing Federation. But we can see that today they have done an amazing job to bring the sport itself and the event itself to a, a level that never reached before. Um, there's, there's, there's big ambitions for women's boxing, gender equality at ABA. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah. Um, we, we have put the, the athletes in general in the middle of the action of AIBA. Now we are here for the women to develop all the program. It's a new start for the, the development of women boxing. Uh, we have launched and initiated this uh, ambassador program to put the strongest women that we have in front of this program. And uh, we are going, it's just a start, just a step. Uh, we have many ideas to uh, develop uh, the women program. And, and on that note, actually, I, I, we've heard the idea. It, it's not just the boxers; it's the whole ABA community, which is, you know, being pushed with the women. Yeah, I mean, one thing that uh, we are on the way to uh, to progress to is the gender equality. We need to bring more women to uh, to our sports, not only uh, up on the ring, but also in all commission, in in all the working groups. So this is where we are today. Good afternoon, Jennifer and Kira. Uh, welcome to Astana. So, you're both ambassadors for ABA during these world championships. You both have massive experience in ABA competitions. What are your first impressions of Astana 2016? Well, the first impressions, opening ceremonies, the boxing, everything's been amazing so far, and it's just started. For me, it's really impressive, the organization and everything that's happening in this championship of the world. And you, Kiara, you have a great experience of the competition at AIBA for many years. You've seen the evolution of the boxing feminine. And more particularly, can you tell us the effects that it has on your African continent? In fact, promoting the feminine boxing has been one of the major objectives of AIBA. And the success that it has made on the Jeux of Londres has been impressive. It has been impressive on the Jeux of Londres. It was impressive. Ça s'est passé dans tous les continents, l'Afrique aussi hein, est, est un des continents qui a commencé très tôt la boxe féminine en fait. Et euh, l'Aïba avec son support aussi dans ce domaine euh, a beaucoup euh, contribué à la, la, au développement de la boxe féminine au niveau africain. Bonjour John. Uh... Bit of a strange exercise for you because you're obviously a journalist and you're mostly used to being on the other side of the mic. So again, thanks for doing it. Um, what are your first impressions of Astana 2016 and, and, and these Women's World Championships? Well, the first thing you notice is the is the venue. It's a pretty remarkable setup. You know, they've pulled out all the stops for the boxing. It looks great. We've only well, we've had sort of a day and a half worth of competition, so it's really all these tournaments is the boxing that really matters. But so far, the signs have been good. It's been good, some good bouts, some good competition. I'm looking forward to seeing how it develops. Um, women's boxing has got, you know, has been scaling for many years since the introduction at London 2012. How do you see it go beyond where we're at now in terms of? of awareness and, and the, how the media treat women's boxing? Yeah, I mean, there's no mistaking London 2012 was huge for women's boxing. It's created, you know, stars, really. The, some of the most famous boxers in Aiba boxing are the women, Katie Taylor, Nicola Adams. They're kind of, le you know, legends pretty much in their, in their home countries. You know, and that sort of, that in itself helps encourage participation. I think the next thing is really just to sort of harness that, try and get more, you know, you know, more women boxing, more talent coming through. There are young boxers emerging. I'd like to see more, but hopefully that's something that's going to be worked on and something we're going to see in the future. 